the amount of racism, and this is what's pointed out in the documentary, it's just mind-blowing. It's a good reminder of the difficulties not too long ago in our history, how shitty things were for a young Reggie Jackson. Most of my friends were white. That made a problem for me and my white friends because the parents did not want them to associate with me. That pain is unbelievable. And and the worst thing that ever happened to me when I was a kid, I was about 11 or 12 years old, and I was riding my buddy's bicycle because it was dusk, getting dark. And he said, take my bike, Reggie, get it tomorrow. And I I was riding home. His stepdad was coming up the street in a 57 Chevrolet, yellow and white, with a Continental kit on the back. And he saw me riding the bike and he pointed to me to stop and pulled over and told me to get off the bike and walk it back to the house. Mm. He lived about two miles away from me and I I was halfway home. It just, I never forgot that. Could you go home and say to your father, I just went through something horrible. Or do you just swallow it? And then live with that shit. I remember tears coming out of my eyes on the way home. But when I got home, I wasn't crying. And my dad asked if anything happened or what went on today. What'd you do? And I did tell him the story. And so I can remember a hug uh, from him. But 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 that's all. That That's all I can, I can remember. Those kinds of experiences lead you to feel the rest of your life like you're less than. And it's a very painful thing to confront. I honestly think it made me stronger. It made me so much more sensitive and aware of feelings. I can be in a room with 100 people or 50 or 300 and feel a racist if they're on the other side of the room. Uh, I can feel you if I don't, if I should not, if I should trust you or not. You know, as you speak, I can feel your depth of, of, you know, what's down in your heart and what's in your stomach as you, as you speak. I'm aware of that. What you're saying about my understanding or what I felt socially, but if it impacts me at all and it, I'm going to, you're right. It does. That drives me. So if I can help underserved communities with my foundation or with my actions, with my conversations as you and I are having now. This is a powerful way to help people through life. How you're expressing what you feel about me and how I'm responding to it is tremendous for people.